Hi everyone, welcome to another video. So for today's video, we are going to show you how to create a work breakdown structure template in Excel. So a work breakdown structure is used to identify the tasks okay, for a certain project. And it actually comes in many forms. There are forms wherein you have a hierarchical chart or you have this form wherein you have this list of uh, items to do and you have this outline wherein you have different phases and then each phase is further divided into its tasks and this is what we're going to do so how do you make something like this using excel so that you can easily automate or update the work breakdown structure template so let's start so i already have here some columns like the level which I haven't filled out yet the task description which I listed down and then the intended uh, indented output so I want to create a formula that will automatically indent okay, the items based on their level and how to do that is we have to use a certain combination of formulas so for example we start with putting in the levels so let's say that's a project level 1, and then this will be 1.1, 1 .1, then 1.2, which will then be further broken down into its subtasks. So take note that I'm entering the levels with this format. So this is the typical format in a work breakdown uh, structure. Now, also, I hope you notice that I'm not putting in the final dots okay so you can put that or not it's totally up to you but for this one I will not put the dot because that's going to be crucial in the formula that we're going to make I mean the final dot so let's have more levels oops I think I missed this one Let's say, I, I know the tasks that I'm putting here may not make sense yet, but we're actually more after the formula rather than the task itself, okay? So let's say we're now moving to the second phase. This would be our subtasks. Okay. And then we're now ready to create the formula. So for the formula, our first intention is to count how many dots there are in the cell because the number of dots somehow correspond to the level, right? If this one has no dot, meaning it's a level one kind of task, same as this one, and then it can be further broken down by this two, which has one dot each. And then this one here, 1.2, is broken down into its subtasks wherein it will now have two dots so the number of dots correspond to the indention okay of the item so to do that we're going to count first everything that is inside that cell so we want to know how many characters there are how many numbers how many dots there are in the cell now we have to then subtract how many number len sorry for length okay how many characters will there be if we substitute the dots away so what i'm doing now is i'm telling excel to substitute away the dots and turn them into nothing so it's like removing the dots from cell a4 and i want to find out how many characters remained and then Whatever that is, the number of characters without the dots will be subtracted from the number of characters of the entire cell. This would reveal to us how many dots there are inside the cell. Now, there's no direct way in Excel to do this. That's why you have to combine the len function, which counts everything there is inside the cell that you indicate, and substitute, which removes characters or at least changes a character from one character to another where in here we said the period or the dot should be changed into nothing so we ended up counting how many dots there are for each of the items for the levels 
And now we're going to use that number together with the repeat function. So the repeat function repeats a certain character based on the number of times we indicate here. So repeat a space and maybe to make the indention a bit more prominent, I would have maybe three spaces or four or five, totally up to you. But this four spaces here will be repeated based on the number of times we have here. Okay, so now we have the repeat function putting in the space and then we will combine it with the number itself, A4, and combine it with a period and a space. This period here would be the final space okay, for our level, the final uh, dot okay, for our level, and get the task description. So the ampersand is a method in Excel that would concatenate values together. So what I did here now is I have repeat, okay, repeating the spaces based on the number of dots that we have and then get the level itself, put up dot and a space and then the task description. So this will end up with something like this. So remember that this one had the number zero in it. So now we don't have any indentions because of that. But the next one would have one indent because that's how many times the repeat function is repeating the four spaces. And if we go with the number twos, then we'll have more spaces okay, repeated by the repeat function. You will end up with an indented structure. Wherein you can now paste this in Notepad or in Word, and Word will pick up the indentions as well. So that's how you can create an automatic indention of your work breakdown structure. So, in case you need to add more levels, all you have to do is insert a new row, and then let's say we want to send a letter to the uh, bidders and then we'll put this as 1.2.4 and as you could see we now have another level here you just have to copy the formula okay because we designed it in such a way that it will update okay based on column a's value if you are curious about what the len function is or what the substitute function can do I will leave the link in the chat box. I have another video for that. But for now, I hope you like this video and I hope you hit the subscribe button and I will see you in the next video.